Get the shrapnel out. Me? I'll keep him still. Be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. He's just gonna patch you up. Oh. It's enough for now. Oh, easy, easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis and Violet ran. They're safe. Yeah, probably. It sucks. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? He's safe for now. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. The 
distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? You can't remember. Even if you can remember, you can't remember what it was like to belong. So... Where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. <sighs> You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine. If you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back. Or you'll lose him. <sighs> I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. Rest. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him.
hurts. Hang on. We're almost there. You live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Not ready. Carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he? Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. It's okay, buddy. I got you. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, Do the breathing. <sighs> I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. happened out in the woods. I saw they had you pinned, and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I wanted to help you, but when you told us to run, I had to trust you. Thank you for protecting us. It was really brave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? Everyone is scared, Clem. I'm glad you're not dead, and that you made it back. Just wish I could say the same for the others. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, I... Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not, like, with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean... Okay, fine. Keep secrets. But I know she knew you, and from the looks of things, you weren't friends. She murdered someone in our group. 
gunned them down during an argument. A guy named Doug. He was really sweet. Protected the group. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You let him write to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. I'm not trying to be weird. I just don't want everyone in the world to know where we are. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. Ugh, wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. Last thing they need is more things to fear right now. If you stay, you help against the raiders. And that's an angle I might be able to use. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front. And then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it. So we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Lily told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine too? Mitch. Those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. 
Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I...